Hello everyone, I hope you're doing extremely well. Sorry for the noise, it's going to be a bit of a noisy one today. Uh, so, we're having a look at this little monkey today. Uh, this is Eve's, Eve's engine. And I've got some time at the moment because I'm rendering a big eight hour render at the moment, so I can't do anything on the computer. Um, so I'm going to have a look at something that's been, and the mother-in-law has just gone out. Uh, so it's a good time to get this done. Uh, so we've had an oil leak on the offside of the engine. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but that is all just oil around there and it's been leaking out for the last, I don't know, two years, two and a half years or something like that. So it's time to investigate. Um, because it's up here, I'm presuming the oil leak is going to be from the, uh, the cylinder head near the top of the cylinder head. I don't really know. I guess we're just going to have to explore and find out. I have no idea what we're going to find. Um, a bit of an introduction. So what is this? This is an F4R cast iron engine from this type of Clio. It's 2 litre capacity, 120 cubic inches, uh, generates at 180 uh, imperial horsepower, or it used to anyway, I don't know what it does now. And it's, it's right, it's a cool little engine. Now, I come from a background of very powerful engines, so this is, um, this is very small, but it's, it's, a, it's a good engine. I, I rate it quite highly. Cheap, but good. You can buy them for about £250 in England, but second hand. Right, so anyway, concentrate. The first thing I'm going to do is just strip all the crap off the top of the engine and then we'll uh, report back and see what we can see, so stand by. Okay, so... I really don't want, know what to think about it. So we've got some oil around here. This is the filler cap, by the way, and filler cup seal all looks okay, so I don't see why, why it would have leaked from there. Although there is wetness around the outside of the housing which suggests it could have leaked from there but how would it go uphill here into this kind of mount and then along here down to the rubber mount here and here's where the most of it is kind of around here just doesn't make any sense to me why that if it, even if it had leaked from here and there was a problem with that seal why it would have gone uphill and that much would have leaked it just doesn't doesn't feel right to me down in, where is the camera pointing? Down in here, there's a little puddle of oil, uh, kind of at the top of the housing for the inlet manifold. There's a puddle there, tiny bits there, tiny bits there. But that's dry, the, cylinder, uh, the cam cover's dry, cam cover's dry, cam cover's dry, cam cover's wet. So, it doesn't, I think it's got to be deeper in there somewhere. I've, if it had been the, the seal between the cam cover there and the top of the cylinder head why would the oil have gone up here it just doesn't make any sense I th my best guess is that I think I need to remove this this is a just a housing it's just it's just a plate for the you know it's just the engine mount plate remove that I think there's got to be something below that that is throwing the oil out I think we're going to find oil on the cam belt or something and it's been thrown at high velocity about. It's the only way I can think that they're always getting dispersed all around here. If nothing else makes sense to me. Very, very likely to be wrong, but we'll have to see. So I'm going to remove this engine mount, prop the engine up on some bricks or something, and um, see how we get. I'll report back. All right, so I've removed that mount. And to be honest, it's just deep in the mystery. I mean, that is caked in oil down there. But the timing gear... I thought the timing gear might be to blame, but the timing gear looks pretty dry. I mean, it is dry. Uh, the cam belt's got no oil on it, so I, I, I thought maybe that, that timing gear might be splashing oil out centrifugally, and that, that's the only way it could be getting around here so much, but it doesn't look like it. So I really don't know where the source could be from. I'm really confused. These nuts and bolts... I mean, I built this engine myself, so maybe I've caught one of these nuts and bolts up. I haven't done it quite tight enough, but if I've done my job right, none of them should be meeting oil anywhere. Um, they go into a kind of the cast on the edge of the uh, cylinder head, but I've sealed all around there, unless I've missed a seal and capillary is bringing it up. But I just wouldn't have thought that would have the force to come out this much. So what I think we've got to do now, sure the engine up a bit, run it like, clean all this oil up, Show the engine up, run it like this, and see if it's splashing any oil out. If that doesn't work, I've got an endoscope I can chuck down there, but I don't think I'm going to see much. So, 
Weird, huh? Right, let's get that done, I guess. Right, so I've put the fuel cap back on, but left the running gear, timing gear exposed. Put a bit of paper over it. We'll run it and see if it splashes any oil on the paper. I hope I don't break the engine, is the main thing. Fingers crossed. Yo then. So that is where the oil is coming from. Now if we can just find that, and that's right on the edge there. Look, look at that. It's been pouring out. Now interestingly, that's right along a stretch. Now what is that straight line? A straight line must just be the edge of this, I reckon. It's caused that. Right. So it is the timing here. Now what is it in there that's causing that? Now this here is a, um, that's a cam inlet cam variator and it is driven by oil pressure. So this little guy here, this is what varies, this variable valve timing, this is what varies the phase of the inlet cam. Uh, it fills up with oil and the centrifugal force, no, no, hang on, let me think, no, it's the oil pressure being pumped into that. Um, I, I don't know how it works, it's, it's, it's based on the oil pressure, is how much it phases, is all I know. But it looks right and dry down there, doesn't it? So it doesn't seem like it's that. So where the bloody hell was that oil coming from? Where's that bloody torch? Where'd I put that torch? Are you going to work? Yes. Let's just build up oil. That there is a um, down there is a get it. Is that? So it's a guide, isn't it? Tensioner. That's a tensioner. That's a tensioner. Aha! Something oily down there. Ooh, lots of oil down there. I mean, there would be though. It's gravity isn't going to take it down. Uh, I can't really see. Anywhere down there. <sighs> right, so it ain't going to be that sprocket. It could be that sprocket. What's the most likely thing here? The most likely thing is going to be a cam oil seal, isn't it? Let's use our heads for just a second. So this shaft goes onto the edge of the cam. The cam goes into the top of the head. There is going to be a, an O-ring there, and that's going to be the cam oil seal. That's where it always been coming, going to be coming from, isn't it? Right at the top here, on either of these, just before either of these sprockets. And that ain't going to be able to get to that uh, crank. So I did the crank pulley as well, but I haven't changed that seal, so it won't be that. And there's nowhere else that touches oil. It's got to be, by the laws of deduction, it's got to be a cam O-ring seal. Okay. Now the problem with that is, I ain't getting to that unless I pull this whole engine out and apart and I ain't going to do that until it needs its next cam belt which is actually in a few months so maybe we'll look at it then maybe we'll look at it either replacing those oil seals or if it's the outer connection to the cylinder head then we can just gum it up with something and probably be all right I have to make a decision you won't be doing that so all in all can't go any further than that for the time being, but at least we know what's doing it. We're pretty sure we know what's doing it now. I must have installed one of those cam seals wrong or used the wrong type or uh, something. I can't think what I might have done. Hmm. Right, well, that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, probably make another video when I do the cam and uh, the belt and, and adjust everything and check it out then. Never mind, see you guys later.